Hello everybody and welcome to your 21st C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be learning about pointers and arrays. So how do pointers and arrays like how do they uh, how are they alike? Well, let's create a let's create a um an array right now and let's say uh, we have the values 1 2 3 4 5, okay? Now if we were to use the dereference operator on array one, right, what is the value we would get? If we run this program, we get the value one. So in the, in the array by itself is pointing to the first value within that uh, in that array. So what if we were supposed to say uh, array one plus one? What would we get? we would get the value 2 so now we're basically we move the pointer to point to uh, this one over here so uh, that's how pointers or so that's how arrays work so if we were to dereference it uh, we would be pointing to something different so let's look at something let's look at it like this okay so say our array 1 or whatever uh, starts at the address um, let's say uh, 3000 okay so this value would be at 3000 this would be at 3001 3002 3003 3004 so once we say this we say get the reference of uh, the value 3000 plus 1 so 3001 and once we do that then we dereference that and then we get the value 2 and if we were to say plus 2 then we get the value 3 etc etc so let us look at um let us create a, a pointer we'll call it p and it's it's perfectly okay to say it's equal to um array one because uh they're both pointers so you're saying a pointer is equal to another pointer right but it is not okay for it to say array one is equal to p simply because uh arrays are seen as constants and therefore you'd run into an error okay so if we try to run this array one is equal to p let's see oh we need to stop this but notice we get an error even if we did a dereference we'd get an error because we simply can't do that okay array is constant and uh it's not so if we try to run this well, we we could run that if we set a pointer is equal to another. Uh, it would just be changing the value of it. Anyways, uh, I'm not trying to confuse you guys too much, so we we'll kind of stay away from that. So we're gonna say that p is pointing to array uh, array one. Okay, so let us change the value of the third uh, element right here. So we could easily say, oh no, let's change the value of um of two okay so we'll say p plus plus so now we're pointing to the second element of this array okay could we add it from one so first we're pointing to this one now we're pointing to this element of the array so now we're going to say p is equal to uh 100 okay so now we're going to do c out array and we'll we'll print out the second element okay because that's the element we changed, right? So let us run this. So if you see, we get the value 100. So it changed, it was pointing to that section of the array and it gave us uh, that value which we wanted. Okay, so if you want, if if you want, you could test this out. Like, if you want to do this, you could do like this as well. Uh, we could say uh, pointer uh, to p plus uh, plus three uh, is equal to, or let's say p plus one is equal to a hundred. So if we run this one more time, we get the same value a hundred. 
see so there's different ways we can do it and that's how kind of uh, that's how arrays work with pointers so if you notice the array uh, the pointer arithmetic is different than regular arithmetic so if we were if we were to have an integer uh, named number and we named it one and we said number plus plus it would add it to the number once we're working with um, Arrays and pointers and such then it points to the next element within an array or then something that uh, within a container or something of some sort So this is a, a short tutorial, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye